Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video. I'm just showing you guys kind of my process when it comes to buying cards and seeing what the best prices are and if it's worth it to buy the card. Um, and I'm going to be showing you guys how long it takes for you guys to earn your money back and how much you're going to be earning after you earn your money back with the card. So just stick through the video and um, hopefully you guys learn something from this. Right, so the first website I would recommend to go take a look at would be um, StockX. This is just, it's not the best example, but this is a place where you can actually get a card. It is over retail, but let's say I, I search for RTX 3080, right? Uh, let's click one of these. Let's click a regular 3080. Um, yeah, this is a regular 3080. There are the LHR models, which are light hash rate. They have been limited. Um, there are ways around it, but it's it's still kind of, it's not as stable, at least in my opinion. So let's just use this for an example, a regular 3080. Let's say you go to buy it. You spend $2,100, right? Let's copy that. You go to the second website, which is whattomine.com. I will link this in the description. Um, you look for 3080. This is 3080 here. Don't confuse this with L. L is for the lit, uh, light hash rate that I said earlier. You click here. You have one. You're you're gonna be mining with one card. You input your electrical cost. Mine is 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Where I'm from, it may be different. It may be more. Maybe less. Where you're from, you can check your electric bill. That's gonna tell you what this uh, what your cost per kilowatt hour is. So let's take calculate. With 13080, you're going to be earning around $5.67 per day um, after electrical cost. If we click here, the good thing about this is let's say um, you're going to commit to buy this card and you're about to spend 2190, right? You go here, you input 2190, what it cost you to get, you know, what you invested for the hardware. Let's be a little more realistic and say you're getting 95 hash rate after you overclock your cards. You hit calculate. At this price, you're going to earn your money back at a little over a year, almost a, almost 13 months. That's not good at all. I mean, if you guys are willing to do that, great. But um, I think the best way is to try to enter like the new egg shuffle, try to win a card, get it at a better price. It's hard. Um, I got lucky and I won a card last week and I'm going to show you guys an example soon about that, that card. I won a 3060 Ti LHR. Um, but let's hypothetically speaking, let's say you get a card retail from, um, let's say EVGA 3080, right? Let's say if you were to buy one for 900 bucks. Ah, you get your money back in half the time, obviously. So 160 days. This would be great if you can get a card for a retail price, um, which is obviously hard to find. These were not this expensive. They have gotten more expensive because of the whole um, chip shortage. So it, it, it's complicated for everyone. It's not just the miners that are causing that. There are other things causing it. That's probably a whole nother video talking about that. But for now, let's focus on how to decide on what card to get um, or the tools you can use to kind of calculate what you're going to earn and how long you're going to earn your money back. If we go here, let's say you go, you enter the new egg shuffle, you win, and you, and you buy a card. For example, I have this open already. Last week, three days ago, I entered the shuffle. I won a 3060 Ti uh, limited hash rate for $659. Disregard this, um, they made me buy this M.2 because it was part of the bundle. Um, I'm going to end up selling it or maybe do a giveaway. If you guys want me to do a giveaway, comment below and I'll give it away. I don't, I'm not really using it. Uh, but for now, let's say, let's say you spent $680 on the card by winning, you know, the new X shuffle. Let's go back here. 36 CTI L. That's for the light hash rate. Calculate. 
that's what you're earning with Ethereum. Obviously, there are other coins. Um, but since we're talking about Ethereum for now, let's just click on Ethereum. And like I said, we spent, let's say we spent $680 on the card. Let's say you overclock it to 45 mega hash. I've seen some people do it to that, uh, to that much. Hey, calculate. You get your money back in 259 days. It's not the best. It's not the worst, but it's kind of right in the middle. Um, it is difficult with, with, uh, with Ethereum at this right now at this point and there are different unlock you can unlock these cards um, I saw online that T-Rex miner allows you to unlock 30% of Ethereum performance and 70% of like Ravencoin or um, Ergo I believe uh, maybe make a video about that but let's say you're, you're gonna mine this right here you obviously earning more um, hardware cost 680 calculate if you're mining this other coin you get your money back in around 200 days again this is all based on the prices today and the difficulty rates for like um for mining let's say ethereum so hopefully this video um kind of helps you guys decide on what card to pick or kind of know what your expectations are on earning your money back when you buy one of these cards especially now because they're very expensive um if you guys have any questions just drop a comment um, share this video hit the like button and um, and drop a comment below if you guys really want me to give away that m.2 it's a two terabyte m.2 ah uh, yes it is it's actually right here haven't opened it it's just sitting here I don't I don't really need it this is a 3060 I think it's a Ventus Ventus 3x my comment on the new cards they feel cheap it's all plastic like really cheap plastic um you can't really compare it to like the supreme but it, the quality of the cars has dropped and that's just my opinion so um but yeah thank you guys for watching